Now in many cases, as you solve your problems, you would come across relationships wherein product of two will be equal to a third factor. Okay? So let's say area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth. Okay? Distance is equal to speed into time. Okay? Expenditure is equal to price per unit into quantity consumed. Now many a times you will come across problems wherein you will be given x okay, and you will also be told that there is a percentage increase or decrease in x okay and what you will also be told is that you know this has increased by a particular margin this has decreased by a particular margin while this remains constant let's take an example okay so suppose you were told that Let's take this one. So if suppose you were told that a distance of 100 kilometers is covered in 2 hours. If speed is increased to 75 kilometer an hour What is the reduction in time taken? So here again, as is the case here, you have three variables. One is distance, okay, which is 100 kilometers, is covered in two hours. So D is equal to speed into two hours. Now you are told that the, if the speed is increased to 75 kilometers per hour, so the speed is increased to 75 kilometers per hour, what is the reduction? This is basically reduction in time taken. So what's the decrease here? Now in the first case, distance we know is 100 is equal to speed into time 2 or speed is equal to 50 kilometers right now speed has increased from 50 kilometers in case 1 to 75 kilometers in case 2 this is in both the cases is constant okay so the traditional way to compute time will be you can write time is equal to 100 upon 75 3 4 or 1 1 upon 3 hours is equal to 1 hour 20 minutes. This is the traditional way of computing it. <coughs> However, by following a certain set of rules and a table which gives these values, we know that the speed here increased by 50 percent. This is constant. So in these cases, you can find out the relationships which are known as product stability ratio. There's a table for this which is available across all the books that you have. So what does you mean? Here basically two items multiply with each other. There's a product. There's a third item which is constant, which is stable ratio. So if one out of these increase by a certain percentage, 
then obviously the other has to decrease if this has to remain equal. Rule of mathematics. So this product stability ratio table gives you an indication of how much a particular item should increase or decrease if the changes are there. So for every 50% increase in one variable, okay, there has to be a decrease of 33.33% as per this table. Right? So if the earlier time was 120 minutes, then the time new time will be 66.67 .67 upon 100. Why? Because there is a decrease of 33.13 percent. 5, 6, 6 into this will give you 80 minutes which is nothing but 1 hour 20 minutes. So by knowing these product stability ratios you can easily find out a third variable when you know about the increase in one you can find out the decrease in the other if you know the decrease in one you can find the increase in the other the third element remaining the constant.